Hello everyone. In this video, I will take you on a walkthrough of the new Kiritsu KEW2062BT, a true RMS wireless Bluetooth AC clamp power meter. This test equipment is used to measure AC power up to a maximum of 1000 kilowatts or 1000 amperes. It was not designed, however, to measure energy, so you won't find a kilowatt hour function here. Now, I don't have a test setup to accommodate such an amount of power, but since it can measure as little as 0.3 ampere or 300 milliamperes, I may be able to demonstrate its features on a much smaller scale. the current sensor with teardrop jaw design. Barrier to keep the hands away from the current sensor for safety. The data hold button on the side. The function selector of the KW2062BT is very clearly and simply laid out. From the off position we have the AC current, next AC voltage, AC power, harmonics, three phase sequence detector, and setup. Two line LCD screen with backlight. The backlight stays on for five minutes. Item switching buttons, the one on the left and the one on the right, while the one on the center is the mode button. Three phase AC voltage input terminals. For single phase voltage measurement, we use V1 and V3 input terminals only. This is rated at category 2, 1000 volts, category 3 600 volts and category 4 300 volts the battery compartment cover serial number and country of manufacture the 2062bt is powered by two double a size alkaline batteries The 2062BT was shipped with its strap already attached to the device for safety. It is not rated drop proof on any height, so this is a fragile and delicate instrument. Always use the hand strap as much as possible. This is one of the test leads and alligator clips that were delivered with the instrument. That small white arrow is used to properly orient the instrument during power measurement. The front 
or the face of the instrument must always be facing toward the power source. I'm going to need this kind of test leads for my single phase two wire power measurement, but since they did not include uh, this kind of test leads in the 2062BT, I'm going to borrow the one from my 2127R. The test leads are intact. Before conducting a test, let's first put the instrument at the setup mode so that we can properly position it at the correct parameters for measurement. The first option here is the wiring configuration. This is the symbol for single phase 2 wire. I can select other wiring configurations like a balanced 3 phase 3 wire, unbalanced 3 phase 3 wire, balanced 3 phase 4 wire, unbalanced 3 phase 4 wire and back to single phase 2 wire. For now I will select single phase 2 wire configuration. The next option is the VT or the PT ratio. I'll keep it at 1. CT ratio also of 1. The buzzer I'll keep it at on state. The automatic backlight off still at on and selecting the frequency of my region which is 60 Hz. This is the reset uh, mode. I can select to reset all, the whole thing again, but since I have just set it, I'll select no. I'm now ready to make the uh, single phase two wire power measurement. This is the wiring configuration and the connection of my instrument that I will follow. For single phase power measurement, we need to use only V1 and V3 voltage input terminals. The arrow must be pointed towards the load in the line being clamped. This line. V1, the red test lead, goes to the same line as the conductor that was clamped. Here, that's line A. The instrument now measures a power factor of 0.856 and real or active power of 1.19 kilowatts. Phase angle difference between current and voltage at 28 degrees. Apparent power at 1.38 kVA. Reactive power at 0.71 kVAR. And true RMS voltage of 222 volts and true RMS current of 6.2 amperes. Let's go check the harmonics distortion. Total harmonics distortion as percent of the fundamental for current is 46.1%. As percent of RMS values, 42%. That's the fundamental or the first harmonic. Second harmonics order, 5.2%. Third harmonics order, 41.7%. Fifth harmonic order, almost 15%. We can switch between uh, current and voltage total harmonic distortion by long pressing the right arrow key. For the voltage, we have a 6.5% total harmonic distortion based or as a percent of the fundamental wave. Second order harmonics is 0.3%, third order 6%, and the fifth order 2.3%. The harmonics order here can go up to the 30th order of the harmonics, but for single phase loads, usually the third, fifth, or sometimes the seventh harmonics order are the ones that are the most predominant. We can also individually measure voltage on its own. That's 218 volts through RMS at 60.1 Hz for current. That's 5.24 amperes 
true RMS as well, 60.1 Hz. For my three-phase demonstration, this will be my setup. I have here a single-phase to three-phase digital phase shifter that will be providing three-phase power to my three-phase motor that will be running without load. I will test the order of the three-phase sequence in these three terminal posts as well as measure unbalanced power to this motor. Let's check first the line-to-line -line voltages of the output of the DPS. Phase AB that's 274 volts. Phase BC also 274 volts. Phase CA 225 volts. The instrument detects a phase sequence of 1, 2, 3 or ABC which is a forward phase sequence. Now suppose I inadvertently connected the yellow test lead to the leftmost terminal post. So even with that voltage and balance, the KW2062BT was still able to detect phase sequence in my test points. For a three-phase power measurement demonstration, I will follow these instructions from the user's manual. This is for three-phase three-wire and balanced configuration known as the 2 watt meter method. Going back to setup first, I will change the wiring configuration to 3-phase, three 3-wire three and balanced. And just to check, my frequency 60 Hz.
The screen now shows the total power using the 2 watt meter method 0.25 kilowatt or 250 watts. The Kiritu KEW20 62BT is a professional class proper AC clamp power meter. Although it does not have the energy monitoring function, uh, there is no kilowatt hour uh, function here, just power, it is intuitive and can be learned quite easily. If you have used any kind of clamp meter before, you'd be up and running in no time at all. Its backlight stays on for 5 minutes and not 1 minute or less. It has a detailed calibration certificate. It shows total harmonics distortion and harmonics orders up to the 30th order right here on the LCD screen even without using the app. It has a low minimum current of 300 mA despite the fact that it can go as high as 1000 amperes and 1000 kW of power. It has a well written user's manual, easy to follow and well illustrated. It has a good carrying case and the Q power app. Uh, allows for simple oscilloscope and harmonics distortion graphs which can uh, uh, prove useful for uh, harmonics analysis and load analysis. Now for some of the things that I was not very excited about. There is no separate button for the backlight. I would have preferred a separate backlight button since there is a lot of space here. The text of the user's manual is quite small so you may need reading glasses. They included only these test leads and alligator clips which are really high quality and as you can see the cords are much thicker than the cords used in uh, the test leads of other multimeters and clamp meters but it would have been a lot better if they also included standard test leads like this uh, pair of slip on uh, test pens because you're going to need this maybe in the next iteration of the product they will include something like this its function selector has a bit more play than I expected. It's not an issue though, but I thought I'd just mention this because the function selector of the Q2127R is tight and there is no play at all. Speaking of which, the, the LCD screen of the Q2127R is also bigger. The partner app QPower was quite good, but contained only the most basic data processing functions. There's no report writer, for example. Sometimes the app would just quit while opening a data. I think it's very much still a work in progress. I have used this test equipment just for a short while now, so I can't make a long-term assessment. There are still some features I have not tested, like the minimum 300 mA current and the VT and CT ratio, perhaps on another video. But it seems to me to have delivered what it was supposed to do based on my initial tests. I think the Q2062BT can provide more value to one's customers as well as perhaps an income opportunity to the service provider. Let me know what you think. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for your support. Stay safe.